Everybody, group YouTubers and the Glen Barton Class of 69, welcome to this week's Remember Then. Did you enjoy last week's Remember Then? Yes, we had a tribute to the late Jimmy Buffett. Hopefully you enjoyed the music that we played and it took you down memory lane with Jimmy. You will be sorely missed. Well, where am I taking you this week? Well, I'm taking you back into the late 50s. Yes, the late 50s where rock and roll was starting to emerge again into the 60s. And we had the great rock and rollers like Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, Little Richard, you know, all those guys. But there was another segment there that was coming out of the 50s. And it was called the Folk Era. Now the Folk Era actually started in the mid-50s, let's say, with a group of people that were called Beatniks. Do you remember who they were? Yeah, these were the kind of funny people that wore all black, high turtleneck sweaters. The guys had goatees and they had kind of the shorter hair and they had their own way of speech like groovy, dig it, and many other little slang sounds that they would have. So what am, what am I speaking about when we get into the folk area? We're just talking about the beatniks develop poetry. Now poetry is the main part of our music genre. And so they combined the music to the poetry and gave us folk music. Now the group that I'm talking about actually came out in 1957. And they came out of Palo Alto, California. And uh, they actually had many top 100 hits, but they were all in albums at the time. But they did have eight top Billboard single hits during their reign. Their number one song was Tom Dooley. Yes, I'm talking about the Kingston Trio. There were other groups like Peter, Paul, and Mary, the Weavers, the Limelighters, other songs that um, the Kingston Trio had at the time was the Reverend Mr. Black and Where Have All the Flowers Gone, gone by Pete Seeger. So people, um, I'm taking you down memory lane in a different way. Hopefully you'll remember this song. Hopefully you will enjoy it. And hopefully you will remember then. These are the times that try men's souls. In the course of our nation's history, the people of Boston have rallied bravely whenever the rights of men have been threatened. Today, a new crisis has arisen. The Metropolitan Transit Authority, better known as the MTA, is attempting to levy a burdensome tax on the population in the form of a subway fare increase. Citizens, hear me out. This could happen to you. Well, let me tell you of the story of a man named Charlie on a tragic and fateful day. He put ten cents in his pocket, kissed his wife and family, went to ride on the MTA. Well, did he ever return? No, he never returned, and his fate is still unlearned. What a pity. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston, he's the man who never returned. Charlie handed in his dime at the Kendall Square station and he changed for Jamaica Plain. When he got there, the conductor told him one more nickel. Charlie couldn't get off of that train. But did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's the man who never returned. 
now all night long Charlie rides through the station crying What will become of me? How can I afford to see my sister in Chelsea Or my cousin in Roxbury? But did he ever return? No, he never returned And his fate is still unlearned He may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston He's a man who never returned Charlie's wife goes down to the Scully Square station every day at quarter past two. And through the open window she hands Charlie a sandwich as the train comes rumbling through. But did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston. He's the man who never returned. Take it, baby. Citizens of Boston, don't you think it's a scandal how the people have to pay and pay? Fight the fair increase, vote for George O'Brien, get for Charlie off the MTA. Or else he'll never return, no, he'll never return, and his fate is still unlearned. Just like Paul he did. may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston, he's the man who never return. He's the man who never return. He's the man who never returned. Hey, to Charlie.